Hello, John McConnell here with favoritrealestate.com. This is our Rancho Santa Fe market report. I know I just made one a few days ago and I posted on YouTube, but I email these reports to myself and uh, I thought people might find it interesting. First of all, what do you do? I normally first go to the 90 day trend because I really want to see what the ratio of homes for sale to homes sold is for any area. I'd like to determine whether it's a seller or a buyer's market. And again, that somewhat comes from experience too, because a seller's market in a lower price market might be three or four months. I think, in my opinion, a seller's market or a strong market for sellers is when you're at a year's inventory or less. And we'll get to that in a second. But uh, as a homeowner or someone seeking, if you are looking to buy properties, you might even want to see the newly on the market list right here and wind down. Uh, or... You know, if you were looking to buy something that is either expensive or maybe was overpriced or where people might be, um, uh, you know, there may be opportunity for things on the market for a long time. Either a seller doesn't know what they're doing or a seller, it's, uh, uh, you know, maybe in this case it's an expired. You contact an agent or you do the research yourself. I mean, there's opportunities here for people seeking them. But uh, let's go over to the 90-day trend. Um, here we see... In the 92067, now that doesn't cover all of Ranch and Santa Fe, which we've discussed in our other videos. You can pull in Fairbanks Ranch, you can pull in Del Mar and places like that. But we see 200 to 250 uh, properties for sale over the last, uh, since February. And we see that uh, we were having a few properties coming on market, which is consistent with people anticipating the spring buying season. And we saw sales picking up during the buying season. All this is consistent, but... Uh, Importantly, what we see is that there are uh, an average of about 222 homes, and there's about 20 homes a month being sold, which if you divide it out is around a year's worth of in inventory because this is the buying season, maybe a little less. But three or four years ago when I was sending these graphs to myself, you were seeing sometimes three, 400 homes for sale and only one or two being sold a month. Uh, and, and again, it depends on how wide you're looking at your market. I'm just saying that for these same reports, I saw significantly slower sales and significantly more homes. The ratios were far worse, where at one point that would have been a buyer's market. Now, let me just say something before you say, oh, it's a seller's market. I don't want to be involved. There are still houses that are great houses, that are properties people are, you know, discerning people with this kind of money are going to be interested in buying and living in. Over time, the, the, if trophy is the wrong word, the, the high-end properties are great properties that are for sale disappear there might be one or two and then there's a bidding war for them or you know they become very expensive so there is still selection for a discerning buyer in this marketplace which can disappear which would have been different for you know in the early 2000s market so you know if you've got the money to spend on a property like these some of the best properties in the world um you might want to look at them while there's a lot of selection and uh uh, that's why I think it's a great time to buy in Rancho Santa Fe, uh, La Jolla, and Del Mar right now. It, it could be far more difficult to get the home you want in a market that might, that will be different in the future. And there's also financing options for, for doctors, lawyers, and CPAs. We can put you in touch with, they're not affiliated with our office, but one of my agents used to work for groups that specialize in those loans, so we can put you in touch with them. Uh, we can also know some specialty lenders that sometimes go higher than standard publish rates. So if you need lending, you need to work with an agent that can put you in touch with the people who can actually accomplish loans in the high-end market. But more importantly, I think you need to be aware that this may be an opportunity for uh, a discerning buyer. Um, thanks. John McConnell, favoritrealestate.com.